Yo, 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 it's your main man, Kel Breezy, back again, representing the Wrestling Ranch 901, doing what we do best, is trying to bring you guys something entertaining as much as we can, because we all are wrestling fans, and we love professional wrestling. Either you're an Impact fan, or a WWE fan, or AEW fan, or Ring of Honor, or New Japan Pro Wrestling, or any other promotion out there, we all love pro wrestling. But we love to see promotions and brands come together and mix things up. What I'm talking about? NXT, NXT UK Worlds Collide. And right now, to be honest, NXT is my favorite brand under the WWE umbrella. UK, they just need a few more big guys, some more women over there. And it can be just as great as NXT. And plus, they just need a... Better time slot too from the WWE Network, you know. But in due time, just like NXT, they will rise up too, you know. Because Walter can't be champ forever, just like Pete Dunne can be champion. We just need some guys that's gonna go over there and you know, challenge Walter and be a good match. If Raw's not gonna do anything with Drew McIntyre like they should, send him to the UK. He's a good challenger for Walter. Well, if SmackDown really ain't gonna do nothing with Cesaro, we already seen him take on Dragunov over there in the UK brand. He could be a good challenge and a good champion for them. I mean, since Vince complained about his accent that he can't connect with people, I'm pretty sure he could connect with the European crowd. That was just the thing I like to point out, you know. So, I mean, they used 205 Live guy over there and they took a out from NXT over there. But anyway, let me get to my predictions for this card for Worlds Collide. The pre-show, going to have a match between NXT's Mia Yim. The NXT UK Women's Champion, Kaylee Ray. This would be a big win for me again to really put her back in any kind of title picture, which would be with NXT or with the UK brand. But I highly doubt that she gets this W. It's going to be a good match anyway it goes. But Kaylee Ray, I really feel like she's going to take this one because she's a champion. I mean, and I hopefully after the match, you know, at some point in the show. We'll probably get to see somebody step up want to challenge her for her women's UK title. Alright, on to the main card. On to the main card. Not sure what order the card's going to go in, so I'm just going to try to cover all the matches the best I can. So, with that being said, speaking of Dragunov, he's taking on Finn Balor. And if you fire Finn Balor, you better not miss. That's my pick. Finn Balor's going to win because he just came back to the NXT brand. So why would they take and lose somebody like Dragon? I mean, Dragon's pretty good, but he's just not on that level of a Finn Balor, and it's too early for him to really get a good victory of Finn Balor unless Johnny Gargano comes out and kind of interferes, which I doubt because I think this is going to be one of the pair of views where we're going to give clean finishes. I mean, I say clean finish, I mean no outside interference. That's how I feel. This is a great pay per view. So just yeah. Speaking of Johnny Gargano. From one night only, him and Tommaso Ciampa team up to bring back DIY to take on Moustache Mountain, Trent Seven, and Tyler Bate. Ah, oh, this is going to be some hard-hitting technical wrestling here. Because both of these are great tag teams, the former NXT tag team champions. And, you know, hey, I, I just, I'm, I like a good tag team match, you know. And this is going to be a good one, but I'm going to have to give it to... DIY. I am. I'm going to give this match to DIY because Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano, they're really getting a lot of momentum and they're really doing the things. And Trent Seven, he ain't really been giving me wins here and that lately. And even though Tyler Bate did beat Jordan Devlin, but still, I mean, Jordan Devlin ain't been putting that to me wins himself. But so I'm going to give it to DIY. So the Cruiserweight title, NXT Cruiserweight title, this title can go either way. And you know, the three out of four of those, I would be okay. The reason I say three out of four because you got Travis Banks, Jordan Devlin, Isaiah Swerve, Scott, and the champion, Angel Garza, with the pants off. Ooh. I'll be fine because these guys are all young, hunger talent in the U.S., U.K., and in NFT brand. But Travis Banks, you know, they don't really use him as much, and he don't get much many matches and many wins, so... Get a little time more to prove himself and do a little more in the UK or NXT brand. And I mean, Jordan Devlin, he's been picking up some wins, and I'd really like to see him more because 
He's the Irish ace, so that's cool. And with Swerve, oh man, he just got the move, the, the move set, the look. Angel Garza the same way. So either way, you know, I'll be okay with being champion. Just I like seeing newer, fresher talents getting championship opportunities or winning championships. I'm fine with that. So, Rhea Ripley, the NXT Women's Champion. Only one who can say, if my memory serves me correct, only one who can say she's been NXT Champ and NXT UK Women's Champion. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. You know, so she's been top of food chain of both brands. That's pretty dope. Um, she's taking on Tony Storm. They have history. Uh, she actually beat Tony Storm for the title, but Tony Storm came in and beat her twice to win the title and to retain the title. Right now, I don't think that's going to be a third time Tony Storm going to beat Rhea Ripley. I do believe that Rhea Ripley's going to get the win because she's a pretty much a newly crowned women's champion. She's going to have to defend the title, so I really think she's going to get this win. And it's going to go on to take takeover her view in a couple weeks to take on Bianca Belair because that's what we really want to see. No, no offense. Tony, but yeah, Rhea Ripley's gonna get another win for <laughs> NXT. How about that? Mm, that's interesting. Seems like NXT may get the wins, but I could be wrong about a couple of these. And, and to be honest, I really don't care, to be honest, because I'm gonna enjoy the show regardless. So, I'm gonna go in and talk about this big, big eight man tag match. NXT, you own Undisputed. Era taking on the UK brand Imperial. This match, oh man, I don't. I, this match, guys, I'm just gonna tell how it is. This is gonna be a match of the year candidate. I'm calling it because these both of these four teams, man, they've been proving their dominance on both brands. This is why they are at the top of the food chain on both of their brands. So I'm, I'm excited for this. I mean, Rod Strong just lost the North American title. But he lost to Keith Lee, so that's not really a bad loss because Keith Lee is big and dominant and he's coming up. So it ain't like he lost to somebody that's like, really? Mm. So, but still, they're very angry. They're more focused. So I'm, I'm excited to see this, but to call it, I'm trying not to be biased, but it's kind of hard to because Undisputed Era, ooh, they just came out of great 2019 with Fish and O'Reilly being Tag Team of the Year. For PWI and Adam Cole being the superstar wrestler of the year for PWI, so it's kind of hard to call it right now. Oh, you got Walter, man, he's yeah. But I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Um, Undisputed Era, they're gonna get the W. It's gonna be a close one. It's gonna be part of a lot of close calls, near falls, oh, a lot of hard hitting, a lot of European uppercuts, a lot of super kicks. A lot of kicks, period. Suplexes. This is going to be a match that the main roster, Raw SmackDown, can definitely look at and learn from on how to execute a high quality match like this. <sighs> and so, and then Royal Rumble's the next day. Do I want to talk about Royal Rumble? My predictions? Nah, because I do it tomorrow. Well, later tonight, because they may add another match to the kickoff or to the main card for Royal Rumble. So I might do it tomorrow. Hmm. Talk about the Royal Rumble. But these guys, this is my predictions for Worlds Collide NXT and the NXT UK brand. Worlds Collide pay per view. Don't forget, guys, to watch tonight on the WWE Network. If you don't have it, it's only $9.99 a month, guys. First month free. Ha, ah, come on. Don't be cheap. Get it. So, yeah. I'm your main man, Kel Breezy, representing WrestleRent901. Find us on the social media, guys. And I'm out.